Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows, and attractions found at SeaWorld Orlando. The park opened in 1973 as the third of the SeaWorld chain and just two years after Walt Disney World Resort's Magic Kingdom. This made Central Florida a multi-park vacation destination, but it wasn't until it was sold to Anheuser-Busch, owners of Busch Gardens in 1989, that it started to divert from a show-based park to a ride-based park. Today, it has a great mixture of thrill-seeking roller coasters, soaking wet water rides, and spectacular original shows. You will enter the park via the port of entry that features all the guest services, stroller and wheelchair rentals, and a variety of shopping locations, including the main SeaWorld store where you can buy a variety of merchandise as you leave the park. You will also be able to grab a coffee and snacks from the park's only on-site Starbucks location. As we go around the park clockwise, you will next enter the Sea of Shallows, which along with some great attractions, you will also be able to see and learn about stingrays, dolphins and manatees. As you enter the land, you will probably notice Manta, the huge steel flying roller coaster that was added to the park in 2009. The amazingly themed queue area lets you view over 60 different aquatic species, including over 300 rays, which is of course where this attraction got its name from. The coaster features four inverted versions, as well as a cool effect that makes it look like the riders skim the water. Next is Turtle Trek. This has two naturalistic habitats, one filled with manatees and several species of freshwater fish, and the other is home to more than 1,500 saltwater fish and over a dozen sea turtles. After the exhibits, you will enter a dome theater, where you can watch a sea turtle's journey through life, from birth to adulthood. It uses 34 projectors to show the amazing story in the beautiful 360 degree theater. The show used to be in 3D, but has now been adapted to 2D due to the pandemic. The final attraction in Sea of Shallows is Dolphin Adventures, a spectacular presentation of bottlenose dolphins in the iconic Dolphin Theater. This was actually the Shamu Theater when the park opened in 1973, but was later changed to accommodate the amazing dolphin shows. The show explores the dolphins' natural behaviors and the traits they've evolved to help them survive and thrive. It's a great show that provides a lot of education about these amazing mammals. The next area you will come to is the Sea of Legends that features two amazing attractions. First is Journey to Atlantis, a water coaster with dark ride elements. It takes you on an adventure through the mythical city of Atlantis with many turns, drops and splashdowns as it switches between the water track and traditional roller coaster track. Expect to get wet on this amazing ride. Next was the first major coaster added to the park, Kraken. Opening in 2000, it was once the tallest and longest roller coaster in Florida. The flawless coaster features seven inversions and reaches a speed of 65 miles per hour and is still one of the most thrilling rides in the park. Right next door is the smallest land, Sea of Ice, that houses just one attraction, Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. This is a trackless dark ride that follows a lovable newborn penguin called Puck. Riders can choose between a mild or wild ride through as you traverse different caverns and watch the adventures of Puck. Near the end of the ride, you will be able to see the live penguin habitat, which is where you exit the vehicle and continue into the open air exhibit that has over 240 penguins featuring four different species of the beautiful birds. As you head back to the central lake, you will come to the next area, Sea of Delight, which is home to two shows and one of the oldest attractions in the park, Sky Tower. This is the tallest observation tower in Florida and gives amazing views of SeaWorld and other areas surrounding the park from the double-decker rotating pod. Make sure you bring your camera to get some great shots of the Orlando skyline. Next is the classic show Clyde and Seymour in the Sea Lion and Otter Stadium. This features a pair of California sea lions, otters, and a walrus performing various skills in this entertaining performance that is fun for all the family. The other show is Pets Ahoy, which is held in the Seaport Theatre. This performance features dogs, cats, ducks, 
parrots, and even a pot-bellied pig in a hilarious show with many amazing tricks and gags. Keeping in line with SeaWorld's conservation efforts, many of the animals from the show were adopted from local animal shelters. This is currently a seasonal show, so make sure you check the official SeaWorld website to see if it is performing on the date of your visit. At the back of the park is the next area, Sea of Mystery. First up is Mako, a hyper coaster that is currently the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the Orlando area. It is named after the fastest species of shark and reaches a height of 200 200 meters, a maximum speed of 73 miles per hour, and features a track length of 1,450 meters. It doesn't have any inversions, but don't be mistaken, this is still one of the most thrilling coasters in Orlando and consistently gets voted in the top 20 coasters in the world. Next is one of the newer attractions in the park, the River Rapids Ride Infinity Falls. Opening in 2018, this holds the world record for tallest drop on any River Rapids ride and is themed to the conservation of water. Make sure you bring your raincoat for this one as you will likely get wet or even soaked. For a more relaxing attraction, you can try the Flamingo Paddle Boats, which can be rented in this area and will allow you to travel all around the park's central lake and is a unique way to see the beautiful scenery around SeaWorld. The next area is the newest and a welcome addition to the park, the amazing Sesame Street Land. Opening in 2019, with additional attractions added in 2021, this is the perfect place for the younger guests to explore and meet their favourite characters from the popular long-running television series. Attractions include the family coaster, Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. This is a nice little coaster and is the perfect way to introduce the little ones to thrill rides while enjoying the theming to everyone's favourite clumsy superhero. Elmo's Choo Choo Train is a small train ride that weaves between the beautiful flowers and bugs on display. Don't forget to look out for the most adorable little red muppet. Next is Abby's Flower Tower, a spinning samba tower ride which lifts guests 30 feet in the air while taking you round and round in one of the eight themed flower pots. This is a great way to get a nice view of Sesame Street land. If you enjoy going up and down, then check out Cookie Drop, a small drop tower ride themed to the Cookie Monster. Slimy Slider is a rock and tug ride that spins guests around while a pumping soundtrack adds to the fun. This is of course themed to Oscar the Grouch's pet worm Slimy. For fans of Big Bird, you can go check out Big Bird Twirl and Whirl, a small teacup style attraction that spins guests around the huge 8 foot yellow Muppet. There are two different playgrounds in the land, Rosita's Harmony Hills has slides, musical instruments and other interactive elements, and Rubber Ducky Waterworks is a water play area with lots of different ways to get wet, with Ernie's favourite bath toy. Finally, the old sea carousel was rethemed in 2021 to match the Sesame Street theme and was renamed Sunny Day Carousel. You have the chance to ride Muppet style horses and look out for all your favourite characters. We now move on to the final area of the park, Sea of Power. This is home to the most popular show in the park, Orca Encounter. Held in the Shamu Stadium, the show focuses on behaviours and techniques that the killer whales use in their natural settings. Similar to other shows in the park, this is a great entertaining presentation that is filled with fun educational details. For an extra charge, you'll also be able to head to the Orca underwater viewing area, take part in the killer whale tour, and even dine with orcas in their special dining experience. Next is the newest attraction in the park, the steel launch coaster Icebreaker. Opening in February 2022, this is the sixth coaster to be added to SeaWorld Orlando and features four launches, as well as taking riders backwards and forwards before falling backwards again. The final attraction in the park is Wild Arctic, a motion simulator ride that takes you on an adventurous helicopter ride through the Arctic as you meet many different types of animals in their natural setting. You also have the option to view the video from the attraction in a small theater if you're not a fan of motion rides. You then will walk through a number of exhibits showcasing some of the animals from the film, like beluga whales and walruses. As you make your way back towards the entrance of the park, you will see the Bayside Stadium, which hosts events and shows throughout the year in SeaWorld's various festivals and seasonal offerings. 
So that wraps up all the attractions offered at SeaWorld Orlando, and if you're planning on visiting the nearby Disney or Universal Resorts, I would definitely recommend spending a day at SeaWorld, as they truly offer something unique. If you would like to check ticket pricings, then check out the official SeaWorld website through my affiliate link in the description box below, as it is a great way to help support my channel. If you want to know more about the Walt Disney World attractions, then check out this video here or Universal Studios Orlando here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.